Our next caller is Sandy from Florida. Hey, Sandy, how can we help you? Hey, Sal, how are you? Good. Good. Hey, um, so I have kind of a two-parter question. Um, I'm currently running the MAPS Aesthetic Program, and my question is on the focus days, if I want to build my legs more, should I do it on more than one focus day? Yeah, you could definitely do that. You could definitely do all the focus days specific to, you know, one or two body parts to add more uh, volume to your workouts. Okay. But, you know, here's the uh, here's the other thing, too. A lot of times, and we hear, sometimes we get this from women, well, they'll follow MAPS Aesthetic or MAPS Anabolic, and they'll say a lot of, you know, it's uh, more upper body work than lower body work. And here's why it may seem that way with, with certain programs. If you're doing X amount of volume per muscle group, then uh -huh. when you look at the upper body, you have biceps, triceps, shoulders, chest, and back. With the lower body, you have quad, ham, and glutes, right? So that's three three body parts. So the reality is the volume is is equivalent. It's just that there's fewer muscle uh, muscle groups in the lower body. I mean, even if you add calves, you still have less. So consider that as well, because some what I have seen from people is that they feel like, oh, I got to do more volume. They add more volume without following the program, believing that it's going to get them there faster. And really, it's all about the 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 effective dose. And the effective dose is it's it's perfect, right? More than that, you get there slower. Less than that. You get there slower, but again, maps maps aesthetic includes focus session days that allows you to add volume to whatever body parts that you want to train. I mean, I, I if, if legs are your focus, I also like uh, making one day like a quad day and one day a ham day, or do one that's oh. sure. So you know, you don't have to necessarily do like a full leg routine on the on on both focus days. One focus day could be dedicated to more towards you know the posterior chain than one all the front, right? So you could do you could split it like that. I love to do that if that's your main focus. But definitely, if that's your main focus, I think you said. I think I saw that you with back or buys you're doing on the other one. So I would, I would, yeah. I would go all. If legs are the main thing you're trying to bring up, yes. make make that the the centerpiece of those focus days. And then how you split them, split it up is up to you. You can either do all glute, hamstring, and uh, quads on both days, or you can go hamstring work all hamstring and glutes all on one day, and then all quad work on the other day, which would be phenomenal too. Um, and my other question is, um, I used to do lots of cardio. I was uh, high intensity. Um, I messed up my metabolism. I've slowed it down a lot. So I've cut down my cardio to three times a week. So I'm doing cardio only on the three focus days a week. I do it first thing in the morning, fasted, and then at lunchtime, I'll do my focus. Okay. So if, um, if if building and developing the legs is is a main focus, uh, I definitely wouldn't be doing any sort of high intensity cardio in the morning. So hopefully the cardio yeah. you're talking about is steady state or walking. So that would be my yeah. I do walking on the foundation days, and then on the focus days, I'll just do the elliptical. Or on Saturdays, I'll just do like a two minute run, one minute walk, up to like thirty minutes. Okay, well that works. And consider, look, you said you overdid cardio before. I mean, you're right. doing you're doing an okay amount of cardio now. And there's, there's again, there's nothing wrong with it if you love it. But if your intention with the cardio is to, I got to do more of it to get leaner. Uh, right. Well, then you're, you're you're yeah, that approach isn't really that effective. If it's if it's if it's all about that, then really it's about your food intake mm -hmm. uh, and your know, resistance training. I mean, in Maps Aesthetic, because of the focus days. You're gonna be uh -huh. you're gonna be lifting weights five or six days a week, so yeah. you're, you're working yeah. out quite a bit. You would um, also be you you'd be also it'd be far more beneficial to be focused on building the legs and limiting almost all cardio to walking or none hardly at all, and then oh, really? switch yeah, and then switch in a in a month or two and at build in cardio to lean mm -hmm. out. Trying to all right. do all that cardio and also try and build your legs at the same time. I mean, you're you're sending a bit of a conflicting signal to your body. It's like, do you want me to build or do you want me to 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 break down? And you know, doing all that cardio and moving that much, you're going to tell the body to burn, 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 and it's going to want to lean out. Trying to do it simultaneously is really difficult. You you'd be far better off 
focusing on building and developing the legs, reducing the amount of cardio that you're doing, get to a place where you're like, oh, wow, I feel like I've added an inch to my legs or my butt or whatever your focus area is. Now I want to lean out a little bit. Now let's start to introduce the cardio. That would be a better strategy than trying to do it all together at the same time. Okay. Even if the cardio is like, you know, five to six hours apart, it's still, you still would recommend the same thing? Absolutely. Yeah. It's not, I mean, again, there's nothing necessarily wrong uh, with, it's, I mean, if you enjoy it, it's great. It's activity. Um, but based on what you're coming from and what mm -hmm. you're doing and what your goals are, I mean, you just focus on being active. I, you don't need to necessarily do structured cardiovascular workouts and then focus on your nutrition. If you notice your body's not getting leaner, I would right. focus on, but you did mention your metabolism was also uh, slow because of what you had done before. You might want to yeah. focus, uh, you know, some dedicated time on boosting that. Just build muscle for a while before even thinking about cutting. Um, oh, yeah. You know, get it up to a certain point to where your metabolism is roaring, and then you cut from there. And then you've got a great position to cut from. Otherwise, you'll you get stuck in this like, I cut, but then oh my gosh, I have to eat so little to maintain. This is not mm -hmm. sustainable. Then I gain the body fat and you're kind of on this hamster wheel. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely doing that. <laughs> okay. Awesome. All right. Great. Thank you guys. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah, dude, that's so, uh, so common with clients where, you know, they have like, I want to be lean, but I also want to build my legs. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, well, you'd be far better off focusing on one or the other mm -hmm. and, and, and putting all your energy towards building the metabolism, building the legs up, developing those, like the original part of the beginning of this question, and then eliminating all that cardio. And if you're somebody who, like Sal was alluding to, you, you were a cardio junkie before. Mm -hmm. I'm going to, so if she was my client, I wouldn't have let her do any cardio. Yeah, because like, you're yeah. trying to break that walk. I'd let her walk, right? So right. I wouldn't be like, oh, don't move now. But I would say, hey, we already know that this is something that you struggle with. We don't need it. You're trying. We're trying to build. We're trying to build your legs, build your metabolism. So it has no real place in our program right now. So let's eliminate any sort of hit interval training like she's doing right now for cardio. You can walk if you enjoy that, and you and that's a, it's part yeah, of you like just your strengthen day. that signal more. That the, the need is is that we need to build muscle in that that's general right. direction, and it doesn't mean that you know those those focus sessions are really intense because it's you know it's 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 pretty moderate the intensity. Really, it's restorative, and it's also sending and re repeating that signal. You know that that this part of your body really needs to come up and develop. Yeah, I think you know I've run into clients like this where it's you know it's not necessarily that they love all the workouts, but rather they fear what will potentially happen. That's right. Yeah. If they're not doing all this activity, I mean, I've I've worked. It took there were people I've worked with. It took me years to slowly work it off because they were so afraid. What's going to happen when I don't do my, you know, 20 miles a week of running or what's going to happen when I don't work out every single day? Mm -hmm. But little by little I you know I wear them out and they eventually cut it and then all of a sudden they're like I'm getting lean and it's easy and my body wants to stay lean like this is super weird. What's going on? It's like, well, because we're now working with the body rather than against it.